The 19-year-old's time of 2 minutes 24 seconds was the second fastest in the world this year, well below the qualifying mark for the World Championships in August. And although the financial science student admits to being surprised by the time, she knows that her hard work is finally paying off. I know with the time that I swam, I probably would have made semis for Olympics, but you don't want to go there and make semis. You want to go there and do well. Like, um, so I was also not expecting the time at all. The former netball player knows that she is under pressure to emulate her qualifying time, especially after missing out on the Olympics by 0.01 seconds last year, but remains confident she can produce the qualifying performance when it matters most. See, people are expecting me to do the same times. Like last year, they wanted me to qualify again, which I didn't. So that makes it hard, but then easing it, it's just like I know I could do it, and I did it already. Skunmarker says that it isn't for a lack of talent that women's swimming hasn't performed in the pool of late, but it has left the sport with many critics. It's really it's hard for us knowing that the, like South Africa doesn't believe in us, um, but we know that we're so close to the times. It's hot, like for all of us, it's between half a second and less, so that is actually really not much in swimming. Schoonmarker is of the opinion that she's not alone in the thinking that there is resentment towards female swimmers in South Africa based on the fact that they haven't swum qualifying times for major events since 2013. She's already done so earlier this year and aims to do so at national championships next month where she can go out and prove her critics wrong. CS2 CGTN, Pretoria.